Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for the Gizwiz is brought to you by Cashfly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. It's time for the Gizwiz with Matt's maddest writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1,514, recorded Thursday, April 16th, 2015. It's in the bag. This episode of the Gizwiz is brought to you by Casper, an online retailer of premium mattresses for a fraction of the price. Because everyone deserves a great night's sleep. Get $50 off any mattress purchase by visiting casper.com slash gizwiz and enter the promo code gizwiz. And now, get ready for Dick! On this episode of the Gizwiz, we got gadgets from Digital Focus and something to help you in the kitchen. It's the same dumb show with Dickie D and OMG Chad on Twitter. TV. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology. Rows and rows of USBs. Growing, growing LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now! Now! I hope you are ready for the Gizwiz. And here he is, the Gizwiz himself, Dick D. Bartolo. How you doing? Chad, how are you, pal? I'm doing great. I just woke up from a nap. A nap? You, are you a nap person? I am. I am a nap person, and I've I've been forcing myself to be a morning person. Um, I am not uh, naturally a morning. Why would person. you do that? Because uh, if I don't like, I will. It, I just don't get enough work done in the day if I don't wake up before nine. If if wow. if like if uh, I lose just so many hours in the day if I don't force myself to wake up. So I've been forcing myself to wake up at eight. Uh, and if I get in the habit of it, I can kind of stay in the habit of it. But if uh, if I fall out of habit, then who knows? Like it would be one or like two by the time I wake up, p.m. So, oh, 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 oh! And but what time do you go to bed? An, um, a midnight is about the time that I force myself to go to bed. Uh, oh, okay. That so gives me still a little are... bit of wiggle room to like fall asleep a little bit later. Uh, it gives me like about eight hours to to get ready to go to bed and and sleep and yeah. And do the, oh okay yeah. okay yeah very so, good that's how, that's how I that's my night routine basically so yeah I have cupcakes here oh wow yeah oh, four um it was my birthday uh, oh last yes week. I wish you a happy birthday yes. on Facebook yes what did, did you get gifts I have gotten a few gifts um I got uh, my my grandmother gave me an Amazon gift card. Uh, my parents' nice. gift should be coming in, I think, today or tomorrow. Um, it was uh, uh, it's still in the mail. Um, my older sister got me a really cool. It's a it's a, uh, a dolly for a tripod. It's uh, we use the same dollies in uh, tw at Twit, and it'll go. Um, uh, uh, underneath the tripod, so it's very simple to move around. So I'm really excited about that. And then a good friend of mine also got me art uh, from a, it was um, like canvases from a, a place online that was super cool. It's, it's um, low poly art. Have you heard of the low poly? No. Low, here, let me show you some. I know how low poly. <laughs> exactly. Jeff's, I got Jeff's, amazing uh, little bird birds. Art. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's, um, here, let me find the Reddit, um, oh, wow. is, uh, it is a type of art that is 3D generated, um, but very sort of low quality in how many. Oh, that's like the show. Yeah, exactly. But how many, like, vectors they're using, or how many, how many, um, uh, what's the word? But polygons. <laughs> that's uh, that's why it's called low poly. Is uh, there's they're not using many polygons to create the um, the art. So I can show you a few um, example. Here's a, like a GIF of a low poly uh, samurai warrior, and you can see all the the harsh edges. But it's much more about palette and feel and theme. Um, than just... So, so are these to be hung on the wall? Yes, yes. So the art that I got uh, is, is similar to this vein of low poly art. And okay. uh, it's, uh, yeah, it can be hung on the wall. And I'm wow. super duper excited about it. Um, yeah, so th this type of... Oh, it's nice. This type of art 
that looks just really, really neat. I actually think that the art that I got is from this, um, this artist, actually. I can't remember if it is or not. But like, say these four you know, pieces could be really cool hung on the wall of the progression of, you know, just yeah. that, that sort of stuff nice. is, is um, what I got. So I had a fantastic birthday. It was, it was great. And then I had a birthday stream last night uh, for my Twitch viewers, and that was a ton of fun. And, and nice. Yeah, yeah, nice. I had a great birthday. I had a really fantastic Excellent, birthday. excellent. Thank you. Let's see. Well, Monday I got to do my tour of YouTube Studios. Here in Ooh. the city, yeah. I, I, there was it, I was in part of a fun show. The Producers Guild of America produced a show called uh, "Producing Laughs," and it was people who were in the business of making uh, videos for YouTube. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, and so I I just did some. Uh, stuff on background and talked a little bit about how Twit operated and the Gizwiz. And then they took us through the studios, which are, uh, they, they did something very unique. I don't know if they do it every month, but they build a set. And oh, yeah. In, in what, or just no, they, build they, they build a set. And this month it was inside, it was inside a subway station. Oh. And, and then anybody who wants to use it can go in there and build something around the subway station. So it's a subway station and a subway car next to it. Huh. So, and they, they said at, at a Halloween, they build an enormous Halloween set and then everybody can go in and use it. I am ineligible, but you are eligible because to use the studios for free, mm -hmm. you need 5,000 subscribers. Right. Did, did you know all this, right? I, I, had ju I had just found out about it. Like just a few days ago, and, like, and if you have, and you have, you have like, I have above a hundred thousand subs. Oh, you can use so I can use five thousand the minimum, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then a hundred thousand you can use it for three days, right? Right, exactly, exactly. Uh, wow, so and you have how many? I have, I have um, two hundred thousand something. Uh, well, okay. Oh, so so that was the other thing that I asked him about was I have two YouTube channels. Can I combine them? Uh, to have like a humongous subscriber account, and they said no, you can only use one. So my most subscribed is 160, some nine from Jeff. Let's me know, 169,000. Uh, oh, okay. OMG Craft. Wow. So, well, you can still get a lot of free time. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Three days worth. Yeah. I was, yeah. Yeah. I was talking to their scheduling people, and they said that it might be inconsistent on like what day. You, like I couldn't just say every. First Tuesday is the one I want. Oh, um, I see. Okay. Because there's lots of other projects. You know, YouTube is also doing their own personal projects in the space, and um, and they other ha they have other you know larger strategy items coming in and things like that. But yeah, it's a mm -hmm. really really neat resource to use the creator space. Um, well, you know, after this thing, I spoke to the people at YouTube and I said, well, you saw me perform and you saw me and and I, and I only have 1,500 subscribers, so. Uh, I'm getting seven minutes in April nice. of free studio time. Perfect. Isn't that good? It's a beginning. Yes. It's a beginning. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, yeah. And they, they start counting the moment you walk in through the door. So you're going to have to start yeah, exactly. running. And by the time you're to the have set. to go through that thing yeah. and type your name in yeah. and everything. And by the time you, and they say, you're in studio X, Y, and Z. That's <laughs> yeah. all the way. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you know, I have to, it's like catching a, a, a flight. Time, uh, uh, run down there, jump in front of the camera, and then get, and get off. Give me my footage. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the, um, and also the space is really nicely designed too. I don't, uh, I haven't seen the New York one. Yeah, no, it's, it's very, and LA it's in a, it's it's in the Nabisco building, which is great fun itself. Where it's a square block building where Nabisco used to bake Oreos and Fig Newtons, and it is it is so big that. This park we have, the High Line, which is a converted elevated railroad. The High Line actually had a siding that went into this building so that they could unload baking supplies and then ship out um, Oreo cookies. <laughs> but there so were none cool. left. I looked in all the corners. You looked everywhere for those Oreo everywhere. cookies. Yeah. There were they no were cookies. gone. Yeah, gone, these, gone, gone. these creator spaces, there's a few. There's uh, one in Los Angeles. 
There's one in London, Tokyo, New York. Oh, there's the one. There's the one. Yeah, there's. That's the New York one right yeah. there. That's where I was. Uh huh. So uh, there's. They're not all over. There's like someone was asking, are they in uh, San Francisco? And no, um, but but uh, they they're pretty cool. It's, yeah. I, I, I was even talking. I was like, what are your goals? Like, how how do you at the end of the day say like mission accomplished? We're good. <laughs> You know, hooray, and what we did, did they something. say to that? And they said that basically they're they're the like almost philanthropic arm of YouTube giving back to the creators. So uh, there will be a few projects that they do internally, um, but other than that, it is just getting creators on their feet, teaching them, and then and yeah, and no, it's, 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 it's amazing. The process. Yeah, yeah, it, it was amazing. Yeah, so it was it's really really neat. Absolutely. I think so, too. Well, let's jump into our first gadget. Okay, we will. You know, we taped early last week uh, on Wednesday. So on Thursday, I could go to Digital Focus, uh, a Pepcom event. And uh, let's see, a toy fair. I don't know if you remember. I found the I.O. Hawk. Do you remember mm -hmm. that? The I.O. Hawk was the... The I.O. Hawk was the little thing you stood on, had two wheels... And you you drove it like a Segway, right? You know, no no handle. You right. just leaned forward, back. Okay. <laughs> so at Digital Focus, I found a device called the One Wheel. All right. Ooh. So it's like really getting less and less to ride on. So this right. is one single wheel. Next, and the I'll next show you. version will be the One Pad, where you have the to axle. Yes, Whoa. exactly. Whoa. <laughs> exactly. So let's take a little look at the one wheel. Dickie Bartolo, Maz made us try to end the Gizwiz here on the one wheel. And I'm riding back and forth, but I'm going to... How do I stop? <laughs> That's an important part. So you're going to go I... back up to balance. Oh, off to balance. Okay. So stop moving. You know, right. I, I, I didn't even realize it... It was motorized. It looked like you just balance on it. It's going to oh, slide off the side of the pad? Yeah, and okay. there you, see, you can feel Whoa. it disengage. Yes, okay. Now, I noticed the lights keep changing. As it keep changing. It's got LED, directional LED lighting. So you always have a headlight and always have a tail light. So whichever direction you're going, it switches. Oh, okay. So it's always going to be white in the direction you're going. And then red in the back. So it's like a car. But this one is really cool because you don't have to reverse. You just lean the direction you want to go. Okay, and you know, we're going to have the video running as, as we talk about it. So what is the market for the one wheel? Well, you know, we're at this, really the crossroads of transportation and board sports. So it's a fun entertainment thing that you can do and ride uh, for transportation going to the office or just ride for fun on the weekends. It goes about six mile range. So it'll last for six miles up to 15 miles an hour. Wow, is there any licensing involved? No. Okay. <laughs> and, and, and how long you you can ride up to 15 miles? Up to six miles, 15 miles an hour. 15 miles an hour. Okay. Uh, how much does the one wheel weigh? The one wheel weighs about 25 pounds because Ooh. we've got a big motor inside, 2,000 watt brushless hub motor. You know that's that's the amazing that's thing. What the, that's what most of the it, weight is. Is that when you look at it, you wonder. You know, at first we thought they were just wheeling around, but there's a, the, there's a motor inside, right? The motor's, the motor's in the wheel? Inside in the wheel, yeah. yeah. And a lithium-ion battery? Yep, a lithium-ion phosphate battery. And we ship with an ultra charger, so it only takes about 20 to 30 minutes to recharge. Wow. So after 20 to 30 minutes, you can ride for uh, how many minutes? Six miles. Uh, six miles, so it depends on your speed. So it's probably an hour and a half or two to two hours. Wow. That's and, insane. Uh, they, are they out now? They are. They're available right now at rideonewheel.com. Just R on our website right now. Okay, on the website, rideonewheel.com. Anybody else have any other questions? Oh, the, the, the heaviest a person can be on it. Uh, 300 pounds, so 275, 300 pounds. Wow. And we have all ages. We've had six-year-olds up to 80-year-olds on these guys and loving it, having fun. And you should wear a helmet, you I assume. Wear a helmet. Oh, yes, we forgot to ask how much. How much? How much? That's an important question. It's $1,500. $1,500. Okay. Yep. And, uh, Are there any options? I'll tell you what. 
It is made in the USA. So that's one of something that's really important these days. We make it our factories in San Jose, San Jose, California. Our office is in Santa Cruz. Okay. And, and no options, convertible top, chrome wheels. We're working on, we're working on some fenders and other cool <laughs> products to get as well. Some but right now, sprays, this is, it. This you know, is really decals. neat. So let's take another look at it there. It's the one wheel. Oh my word, look at this guy. And it's ride one wheel. Dot com. And I love the fact that the lights light automatically. As you go forward, you're, they're white. As you go back, they are red. It's pretty neat. Dick Bartolo, Mads Madis, try to end the Gizwiz One Take Theater here on Twit. I'm riding away. Wow. I'm, 15 miles an hour is fast. Yes, like, it is. You, you know, you I, can't I, I think she, she may have misspoken because on the website it says 12 miles an hour. Oh. But e even so. But you know yeah. what, uh, Josh, do you have that other piece of video? Yes, I do. Yes. Yes, okay. This, this was what's very funny, Chad, is on the website I'm reading, uh, do not use off-road. Oh, and and then I click on the demo video, and this is the demo <laughs> video. Yeah, <laughs> right, right off road. There we go. Yeah. Um, so un unlike the Iowhawk, which, which had little wheels, where the guy said, "Make sure you're on a smooth surface," which I believe, these are 11 inch go kart tire. A, a one a single 11 inch go kart tire. I, I guess after a certain amount of time, you can do all this stuff. But I mean, I are. could really see someone who maybe works in a in you know city and has to go less than six miles to work every day. Instead of taking their bike, they could take this. Yes, I mean, this this it's, it's not it's 25 pounds, right. but if you're energetic enough to ride it and jump around on it you can carry 25 pounds you'd only be carrying it up to the office right so you two things you wouldn't have to worry about locking it up and then any ac outlet you can plug in the charger and she said and, it was only 30 minutes that's so <laughs> short <laughs> yes exactly that's insane yeah um, uh how do you feel about the price who that's basically puts it out of like on either I could buy the fanciest bicycle on the market basically yeah. well it's not the fan you know I'm sure there's more expensive bicycles or I could get you know the motorized wheel that's a hard sell that is a hard sell for that price I yeah, think the they only thing need I'm to bring it down to a few hundred thinking of is that someone who I'm going to pitch this to Leo on Radio Saturday. He wants a Segway, and he's mm -hmm. thinking, I don't know, $5,000. He could buy, like, a fifth of a Segway and just ride on that one wheel. I, yeah, I feel Let's like he would anyway. hurt himself. How much is the Segway? Five, five grand? Thousand. Five thousand? Yeah. yeah, so... Okay. Yeah, and it hasn't changed, you know? Yeah. The, the, I, I remember when it was when released, they, it was like, oh, that price will go down. Yes, never think, that's exactly right. That's never exactly has. right. They would say, oh, it's starting out, but, you know, in two, wait, two years, there'll be uh, $2,000. Exactly. It, it never happened. No. I think, well, I think why they found their market is mall cops, you know. They, they, found out, yes. they found who was going to buy it, and that sort of business can afford, um, you know, $5,000. $5, huh. Anyway. I, don't see, I don't see mall cops on the one wheel. Well, you know, they just got acquired. Segway? Segway? Yeah. By who? By Ninebot. Ninebot, yeah. Wow. No, I didn't know Segway that. Segway was suing them for copyright infringement, so Ninebot and Ninebot just bought them. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's the way to do it. Uh, I like that. I like that money like copy that. Copy until you're big enough, and then buy the other company that you were copying. Yeah, the it, whole there time. you go. There, there you, you go. go. <laughs> Wow. Okay, the second item. Let me see. Do you know about the ThinkPad stack? No. That sounds okay. like a book. I know. I walk in and I, well, anyway, I never knew what this was. And we'll all find out together what the ThinkPad stack is. Hey, Dick D. Bartolo, Mads Maddest writer, and the Gizwiz, one take here to here on Twit. We're at Lenovo, and I just came across the ThinkPad stack. Now, I see a stack, but I'm not sure what they do. Oh, weird. So, Sophie, what is the stack? Is weird? So, the stack is an inner portable set of accessories, and it's in a pogo pin design that passes power and data through the stack. 
And what you have here is there's a couple of really cool accessories that you have. So first of all, you're going to have a dual USB power bank that you see here, so which is perfect for powering your phones or your tablets. Uh, then we have a Bluetooth speaker. And finally over here we have a one terabyte USB 3.0 hard drive. And then the last thing we have is an access point or Wi-Fi hotspot. So it gives you internet connection no matter where you are. And what's great about this is that you can mix and match, you can use them separately. It's great for traveling because it reduces having to carry so many different adapters. So, so as you, uh, the pins up here will pass the power from unit to unit as you add more on. But you know, uh, you said the Bluetooth, does it not matter that the Bluetooth speaker is not at the top of the stack? It doesn't matter. So it's Bluetooth, and so you can, make, like I said earlier, you can mix and match it, you can use it separately. I mean, it, the actual speaker's in here, is that correct? Yes, it, oh, yes, okay. yes. <laughs> I was Absolutely. having a hard time finding it. Yeah, it really looks, that speaker. looks like a monitor. So this is a yeah. one terabyte USB 3.0 hard drive. I don't know about and that. the whole stack is how much? So the whole stack is 329. With the one terabyte drive and the Bluetooth speaker and all the other things? Everything included. Wow. wow. Now, is that out now? Because I'm not, I'm not familiar with this at all. This will be shipping at the end of this month or by May. Or by May. Yes. And May we're talking 2015. Oh, okay, we're gonna, uh, Dennis said, here, can we take them apart? You got the stack? Okay. Yep. I'm gonna show you. Okay, there's one. Oh, it looks one. magnetic. Are they magnetic also? Oh, they are. Yes. Wow. All right, so now we're gonna show you the Bluetooth speaker. And there's here, and, oh, the I see. The grills are at the end, which is why it doesn't matter where it is in the stack. And this is really great. And then down the line, they might add other things to the stack. Yes, absolutely. So this is the first iteration that we introduced, and going forward, you don't know what we might decide to add to it. That is really neat. So there it is, ThinkPad Stack. The Key Bartola Mads Madness Writer and the Gizwiz One Take Theater here on Twit. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. It, it seems like it would all... I'm trying to understand it, because it seems... Yeah, it, it sort of, I like, think it's sort of for people who... Are buying laptops that have less and less things in the laptop. Yeah. And, you know, it has one little crappy speaker. So you could, you with the stack, you could get a, a, a better speaker. It has, I think it's a two watt, two speakers, two watts each. Then there's a one terabyte hard drive and the hotspot. So I, I, it, it's sort of like. I'm just trying to imagine, like, you would get this and then supposedly put it into your backpack or your briefcase because you're you're using a, a a laptop but it seems like the biggest feature of this is that it breaks apart and you could only take what you need right but it it kind of feels all like a package together like uh, I guess I guess I need to know would would the bluetooth speaker work without the battery would yes I say oh, oh I see what you see. you know what you're absolutely right. I I just, don't know. You're absolutely right. It, it would seem like the Bluetooth speaker would have to be paired with the battery. At some point. Or at some, yeah, unless it has its own little battery in it, but it, I don't... That's a good question. Hmm. You see, you should have gone with me. I know. It's just, it, feels, it feels like the feature that they're touting is that you can leave behind part of the stack. You know, you could unstack yes. it and leave behind or just choose what you want on the stack. But at the same time, I would never see anyone leaving behind a piece of it because it's kind of all, I don't know, maybe you say, I don't need the terabyte drive, let me leave that behind. Or the Bluetooth drive. I don't know, it just seems weird. It's a package, yet it is not. That is correct. There's someone's asking, it is 1.9 pounds if you take the whole stack with you. Right. Um, it's, it's really, but, you know, know, I it's like interesting. I, yeah. I thought, you know, if down the line they come out, come out with a tiny little projector that also locks onto it, then you, and, and, and with that battery pack, then you would really have a dynamite business presentation little guy to take yeah. with you. But you wouldn't have to. You don't want that built into your laptop. Right. I, I sort of think that they're uh, maybe testing the market. I'm, I'm not quite sure. Yeah. I mean, I could also see for business if you basically have your laptop and then you have a tower of accessories 
that are useful to you know whatever business you know you need another hard drive just throw it on the the, the tower if uh, you need another usb hub just throw it on the tower um uh you know well you could just take another terabyte hard drive and throw it on there and right. trap you, you know you could do that right it just we'll seems see. like a different we'll see form in factor, three years basically <laughs> yeah each device is independently powered, so uh, this is what uh, Jeff just found out. Oh, okay. So you well, could you, you could plug it into USB and it all work, um, but if you want it to kind of sit alone on its own, uh, I guess you'd, you'd the battery would be you know a feature. It's it's just, it is a it is definitely something it's new. Different. I have never yeah, seen it. I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. Yeah, I know, um, I know. And, and, and for some reason, I don't know why I was having so much trouble thinking, why is that Bluetooth speaker in the middle of the thing until, you know, I picked it up right. and, and saw that the speakers uh, were out the end. But no, it, it is, it is, it's an interesting concept. And you're absolutely right. I'm not quite sure where it's all going to fit in. And I yeah. think it was uh, 329 Someone else asked the price. Very uh, and And that's, that's the uh, suggested retail and also, my experience is from time to time, just check out uh, Lenovo.com because they often each week pick something and do incredible discounts. Like they'll pick one item and be 40% off or something. So, That's nice. Yeah. It's really nice. Yeah. yeah, it's fun to check. Yeah, I'd like, I keep my eye on it because, because yeah. you're right. If they just add more and more accessories, it seems like a, a neat little. It just doesn't seem like something I would take on the go. It seems like something that would. No, sit you're on absolutely the desk. right. Uh, I I th I think if you're probably a traveling salesman or someone who's on the road every right. week, we'll drop it at the where, hotel and then you have exactly. it there. Exactly. You, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Interesting. Uh, interesting. Yeah. Perfect. And our our third gadget is. It's, it's 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 more for education and more for business, but I thought it's kind of unique. It's from Epson. Now Epson has a line of uh, whiteboards called Bright Light Pro, where you turn any any wall into a whiteboard. And but they added two new models, and we'll talk a little bit of, a little bit about what they do. But now we're going to join their presentation already in progress. Ooh. Clicking here, I can uh, share my whiteboard with up to 15 other devices. Now, it'll create a random pin code, or you can create your own. My pin code is one, two, three, four, done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're in. Well, now I'm you in. Can write on Look at that. Board. Is connect to the Brightlink Pro first. Okay, over, over Wi-Fi. So in other words, you can't be connected to the internet at the same time? Yeah. Open a browser. Not possible. Go to any website Type in and the address. we will auto you. Oh, wait. You One. can't screw around at your meetings with this thing. Pen. Yeah. Now, this way, they can see anything I have on my whiteboard, and I'll be able to see anything they write. Oh, look at that. Voila. Now, if your participants want to share an image like I did just a second ago, well, they can do that, too. All they have to do is upload the image. <laughs> this could only be done. Oh, no, I didn't oh, want that image to go on the screen. Oh, gosh. Or I can That's, the wrong, email these that's notes. the wrong image. I can print them or I can save them for later. And what's super neat is that I've done all this without special software or a computer. Okay, but now what if I want to connect to my computer? Not a problem. I can connect my PC via HDMI or VGA. Oh, VGA. You can see what's on my screen up here on the board. Now, that might not seem very exciting, but when I connect no, a USB doesn't. cable as well. Yeah, I'm very excited. But this part I like. And open up something like uh, PowerPoint. Oh, I can start interacting with my very PC. neat. Essentially, so now, the board becomes a 100-inch monitor, and the pen, or my finger... He can do weather reports in front of... Like right. A giant tablet. So if you look over Think here, there's low way. pressure. Anything that runs on my computer, oh, wait, wait, I can now run up here on the board. So if I wanted to use a unified communication isn't that tool, isn't that a projector? Webex or go to meeting. Yeah. Just where, okay, yeah, I was going to say, where's is it, where's the shadow? Like where, I'm not seeing this. You stuff know what? That's like one of the computer. things that they ironed out Maybe. is they Others made a. In as well. Another way you can uh, use the Brightlink Pro is as a video conferencing display. All I have to do see, is see, like he walks in front of it and it doesn't just splash like on his face. No, it's a, an incredibly short range projector. We yeah, I've so really seen that throw. inch diagonal image. I can also go wow. split screen with my video on one side and the whiteboard on the other. But can you do I it the other way? Is that humanly possible? No. Oh, absolutely. 
Oh, oh, oh he did it. Thank the same oh, man. The great thing Those is people had to rush so fast to get to the other side of the screen. In the other conference room. And you're good to go. <laughs> so there you have it. The Brightlink Pro from Epson. Offering three great ways to boost productivity. You can keep your whiteboard and turn it into a digital whiteboard. Connect to your PC and use it like a giant tablet or use it as a video conferencing display. To learn more, reach out to your sales rep today. The only thing that's running through my mind is, is who, who drew that thing on the whiteboard? That's not, that's not appropriate for this built business room. I know, I know. The only but thing you know, that's running through my mind. I, I, I've not seen anything like that where 15 people Right. Anywhere in the could world could be editing the same whiteboard. Could be editing the same. It's work. a tale as old as time. That one guy trying to copy down stuff, <laughs> and then everyone was talking about it as fast as he can. And now you could just write in your own thing. Yes, uh, yes, and, and also, you know, someone would do something on a whiteboard, and then everybody would go up with their smartphone. Yeah. And <laughs> this yeah, is interesting. Let me. Yeah. A photo yes, of that. Exactly. There we go. Now it's saved. So with this one, you just go to the bottom and you hit email to everybody or send it to everybody's print. Uh, yeah. Again, it, it it's an educational and a business tool. I, I think the list is about three thousand um, dollars. It sells on Amazon for about twenty five hundred. But it is interesting how, and I had the same thought you did. Is why am I not seeing my shadow over yeah. everything? Yeah, every time and, that anyone ever steps in front of a projector, you see the projector image on your face. Yes, the, the projector is directly above and and keeping out of the way of the guy. It, not even the guy's hands are creating yeah, shadows. That's, that was insane. That was yeah. crazy. Uh, so and the, the other thing is the is the being able to kind of make the whiteboard be a, uh, a mouse, you know, make it be a touchpad. Yes. It's so cool. I cannot tell you how many times you get up there and you try to fiddle with a little thing to make it go to the next frame or, oh, crap, I forgot to type this in and you want to, you know, it, it's just, it makes the whiteboard the perfect presentation device um, because you can actually interact with the medium that you're presenting with. It's very yeah. cool. Very it's cool. It's neat. It's neat. Uh, Bright Light Pro Series... Uh, and and there the high end one where fifteen people can be in there diddling around is the fourteen thirty W I. Oh well, now. Oh, before we get on. To yes, the rest I of the know. Show, I was going to say. I, have, did, I, didn't, I didn't mean anything about your spot. I now, just said and now. And finally. now. And now we have to thank our sponsor for this episode, yes. and that is Casper. Casper is an online retailer of premium mattresses. Two technologies, latex and memory foam, come together for better nights and brighter days. It's a very comfortable mattress that has just the right sink and bounce. A Casper mattress provides long-lasting and comfortable support. Uh, you can buy these easily online. It's completely risk-free. I absolutely d love that they have a 100-day trial period, so you don't have to lay down in a showroom and quickly be rushed through from mattress to mattress. You get this mattress for 100 days to try out in your home to really figure out if you like this mattress or not. Casper mattresses are made in the USA, so you can feel good knowing that you are supporting uh, USA business, and you can uh, get a $50 uh, promotion from us. You get $50 off uh, by going to casper.com slash gizwiz and entering the promo code gizwiz. You can get a Casper mattress, uh, $500 for a twin uh, or up to $950 for a king size. Compared to industry averages, that is an outstanding price. So go to casper.com slash gizwiz and use promo code gizwiz to get a better night's sleep today. And we thank Casper so much for their support of the gizwiz. Thanks, Casper. All right, and now we cannot stop Chad's crappy corner. Woo! You don't need it. But you might want it at Chad's Crappy Corner. So get it. I'm ready to. I'm ready to have a party. Okay. Okay. We're gonna. It's food kitchen. It's the kitchen month. 
Right, and for, uh, April. So we're going to have a, a really nice party. I've decided to get this very expensive gourmet mix um, okay. put out for all my friends. And no one showed up to the party. No oh. one no one came. So uh, uh, this mix, I don't want just to leave out. I already threw away the bag. Yeah, dang it. Oh, man. Gosh. So... I know, I know. But I'm going to at least save the nice mix. So what do you do? Obviously, I'm, I'm, there's no one else in the apartment because no one showed up to, to my party. And getting a bag, I'm a very lonely individual. Getting a bag to stay open while I pour the mix in is going to be very, oh, very it's difficult. It's impossible. It's you know, impossible. Don't you even can, try, I don't Jim. even want to try. Do I don't want to try. Enter in. There is no gadget in the world that can help you. No. Uh, well, except this. What? These are not what? gigantic tweezers. Okay? A TV antenna? Uh, <laughs> yes. These are not uh, rabbit ear antennas. No. These are... The uh, the Jokori hands-free baggy rack. Okay, so here's how it works. Uh, once you get it, you're gonna extend these little arms just as much as you want. You can uh, choose, you know, m the most extended or the least extended. You're gonna take your bag and you're going to slide the edges into oh. the little clips just like this. And it will keep your bag open for you just like that, while you take you know, whatever mix you got. <laughs> and now you wonder why no one came to your party? You're there, oh, oh gosh. Uh, did we even, there we go. Here, here we are. Wait, Perfect. wow. Look at that. Not even a little bit spilled. A lot of it was spilled. Don't worry. The, yeah. the staff will be under that table there in one go. minute. Yeah, sure. Yeah, and then you just bring over the duck. So uh, this is um, useful for keeping the bag open. It'll also work with liquids. So if you have extra salsa um, or, I mean, popcorn, I mean, basically anything that you're going to put into a bag. Sandwiches, you know, everyone has problems with sandwiches. Oh, yeah, yeah, So yeah, now yeah. you can just keep this. Drop your sandwich into the top, you know, you don't get any peanut butter. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so this is, uh, we got it off of Amazon. Here's the packaging. The baggy rack. Um, baggy. And they have, okay. uh, they have salsa in here. It, wor it would work really well with uh, liquids because um, they tend to make the bag sort of push over a little bit more. Um, and it'll work with uh, smaller bags or larger bags. So this was a, kind of a larger bag. But just to show you that it will work with a smaller bag, you can bring down the... This has two, uh, two zipper thingies. But you can bring down the, the arms, slide that in there, and it will work with a smaller bag as well. Here, we can take these and just put that in there. Um, so uh, on Amazon, uh, this is available with prime shipping for $8.31. You know what? Click on two count because there's a much better deal. For Oh, for a few cents more, uh, it's temporary oh, it's out, out of stock. stock. But a few cents more, you get twice of them. Yeah, you get both of them. It's basically like get one free. Yeah. Um, now, and then also uh, you can get uh we we ended up getting this uh at the cost of five dollars and fifty cents on prime and so our bags were a lot or our, our uh, uh baggy racks were a lot less expensive than the current ones on amazon so you can wait around if you want to because uh, i'm sure everyone is rushing to buy one of these Something uh, that wasn't obvious to me at the start is that this bottom part is not yeah. a suction cup. It would have been, it would have worked really well as a oh. suction cup, but uh, it's is just it a non-stick. Non yeah, it's just a non-stick okay. sort of um, surface. I thought, you know, most counters are made out of, um, you know, it, it, you know it, some sort of uh, granite no, or formica yeah, or something, yeah. Yeah. and it would have worked perfect with a suction cup, but. Uh, that is not the case. I could crazy glue it down. Yeah, exactly. Just to permanently attach it to. Just the make sure it's in the ideal spot. Right. On top of that, it does fold down. So if you want to, 
Uh, you can go ahead and cut over to the product shot. There you go. You can fold each of these down. Oh, okay. And then that'll uh, kind of fit in your pantry or, or shelf or drawer a little bit easier so that it doesn't always have to be ready to uh, get a bag. So that is the... Well, well, so, and your take on that is you like it, right? Or you do, or you don't? Maybe, sort of. if you're maybe a salsa manufacturer and you have to pour <laughs> bags of salsa every day, I don't, then you'd buy one. I don't okay. think I would want to keep this in my kitchen for the the lonely for the, day yeah, for the, yeah. where I don't okay. have anyone attend my party. Um, okay. It's, yeah, I mean, it's it's kind of like, what the heck is it, to be honest? That's probably what Yeah, no, done. actually, actually, uh, it would make a perfect what the heck is it? Yeah. There you go. Yeah. What the heck is it now? It's a spaceship. It? Yeah, it does look. It it looks exactly like that. It's a, it's yeah. like a Star Trek uh, thing, you know. Or it's maybe a it's, beanie. Mm, it's a little. It's a little. It's a spoon for people who have uh, arthritis. Mm, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's a it's a hat. It's a serving dish. It's a serving dish. It could be all sorts of things. <laughs> Um, so anyway, that is the bag rack from, and okay. I cannot say this, this J-O-K-A-R-I. Oh, I think it's Jakari. 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 The I think that's what it rack. is. Yeah. Um, so that is my crappy gadget. Um, moving on, let's get to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy When gadgets pass away He takes them out to play In this gadget Warehouse Foghorn And uh, Our letter is from James Coleman um, So he, he His uh, video Is about his favorite gadget And it's tied into the warehouse Because if you have an old computer Still using it and it has a floppy drive, which you're not using. Yeah. He has a gadget that lets you make that floppy drive into something I think you will use. What? So let's take a look a at drive? what? <laughs> let's take a look at James Coleman's viewer video. Hello, I'm James from Huntsville, Alabama. Hey, James. And I'm here to show you my favorite gadget. My favorite gadget would be the Sedna 10 port internal USB hub. Ooh. It is made for you to place in the location where you would normally put a floppy drive, but make it useful and add 10 ports USB. You just need to have an internal USB 2.0 port on your motherboard, which is right here, and then you just need a Molex connector on your power supply, and you can add it in. After you added it, you got an additional 10 ports, which is useful for whenever you want to plug something into the front. Very well, cool. Here it is. Oh, this yeah, it replaces Sedna the whole box. 10 port USB yeah, it's for a 10 ports on a computer. That's great. It is a very nice build quality. Comes with this case. That this would be nice if you want to use it externally, right? Disc right, I guess. Yeah. Place inside of your case so Maybe that there's, you, know, some you can replace your floppy disk with something useful. You simply plug it into your motherboard using the cable here. There you go, on the USB 2. And then you tube. plug in a Molex connector from your old-fastened ATA hard drives, not SATA, but ATA, or, or SCSI, yeah. back whenever we had those. Just ATA, not Once you plug it into your power supply, you can plug your power supply back in, and it there powers it on, ready to go. Ready for you to and hook use up those little any stickers USB that Dick likes to device. cover over that LED. USB 2.0 <laughs> is not USB 3, but they do have a USB 3 one for seven ports if you want that. This works well. I've used it many times and I love it. Really this is my favorite gadget. See you later. And some there are some towers that still have this the the size of the floppy because there's all sorts of little things that go in there and that's perfect that yes perfect for that yes that's i great. bought an external 10 port usb uh dongle thing 
and I thought, 10 ports, uh, it's already full. I yeah, of course. I, there are so many I know. Speed charges and I know and wireless adapters. And yes, and I, I'm reading off this flash drive, but yes. then I need the press kit on this flash drive. Yes. And, and when I first got it, I thought, 10? Who needs 10? Yes, yes. If uh, I ever, so is, yes, I need yeah. more USB ports too. 10 is uh, great. He added that he was able to, he found his on sale at Newegg for $26. I looked on Newegg. On Newegg, it's now thirty-three ninety. But on Amazon, it's twenty-four bucks. Nice. So uh, there's a link to it on my website, and it is called the Sedna S E D N A ten port internal USB up. Uh, so James, you will get an autographed Mad. You'll get an autographed Albert e. Newman picture. You might even get a, a spaceship. <laughs> 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 Winging its way to you, James. This could be your lucky day. You'll get some piece of crap for because we showed your video, but we're looking for more. So um, your favorite gadget, gadget warehouse, pretty much anything, any fun gadget. Put it on video. Two to three minutes, no longer than three minutes. Uh, put it on YouTube and send us the link. Gizwiz at twit.tv and do it soon because we're running out of videos. Yeah, please do. And that was great quality. Uh, it looked like he was, had lighting set up. Yeah, no, it was super. Was it was super. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And please don't do that. You don't, don't have do to do that. Yeah, you know, no, you don't have to do that. Selfie Just don't do it vertically. Fine, yes. But he did and don't, and don't have, we, we've rejected very few, but we had someone do one with the radio playing. Yes, it's okay. a little difficult. <laughs> Yeah, a little difficult. We have uh, someone do it portrait, and then the, another person did it, I think, in the dark. <laughs> I think I'm saying. And this, and I'm going, this what? Do this show in the dark. This right? what? Yeah. Yeah. Check this out. I don't see a thing. Yeah. I, don't, oh, yeah. I, I think I see a hand. <laughs> well, let's move on to the letter. Whoa. 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 That head banging. <sighs> wow. Man. Oh, my word. My hair is. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah. That's how I lost my hair. Doing my that. mustache is just all the hair. <laughs> Weird. Nine years of Gizwiz doing that, I lost all my hair. <laughs> uh, David Eckerd writes Titanium bottle opener. Now, he wrote this to me, but I'll tell you why I'm reading it for you, me, Ooh. and Jeff. Uh, the Gizwiz always loves stuff made out of titanium. This one looks like it might hurt your finger oh, if wow. the cap was on tight enough. The spork is highly useful and appropriate for hikers where you treat ounces like pounds. It's teeny tiny. I know. And uh, he, he has an interesting question. Why do we... Why is the... Uh, why is ounce shortened to O-Z when ounce has no Z in the name? Uh, why is pound LP? LP. LB, sorry. Oh, you're right. You're absolutely right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, oh, you want to show that video? It's just 30 that seconds That looks amazing. Long. Oh, it's 30 seconds. So, oh, that's so yeah. short. Um, yeah. It, it's a Kickstarter product. I like titanium. Jeff likes to back projects. And you like bottle openers. Uh, I, so, yeah. Uh, I like alcohol. But, no. <laughs> That is so tiny. That is. Oh yeah, it, it, <laughs> Jeff. So says, he think... has his in his collar stay, so he's fine. Because we both. Oh wait, his he has the collar stay bottle opener. Right, remember how we showed those off? I I, I showed off the collar stay bottle openers. Uh, oh yes. Oh yeah, or... but weren't they hundreds of dollars? Yeah, or yeah, something? yeah. Well, Jeff Jeff has his. I have, still have mine too. They, oh, they, okay. they let us okay. keep them. Um, well, you you know what? You are the first person I know who loves things in bottles. Yeah. Yeah. And the, uh, no, evidently, there are a lot of them because every year at CES, there are nine 
like iPhone cases with bottle openers in the back. And yes. I go, who's opening bottles? I, Who I, do, a, I do all the you time. Do. You yeah. Do. So yeah. Is that too small, do you think? No, and that's perfect because what what I would put do it is put it on my keychain. Right. I didn't catch the price. Uh, uh, no, it's uh, they had for early birds nine dollars, but uh, if you pledge now because that's all gone, eleven dollars. Eleven. Eleven dollars. So what I would do is I would put it on my keychain, and then I would be able to just like you know lash it on with all the rest of the keys in my hand. Yeah, there you go. That's pull, the way. To, like, that's the way to do it. Yeah, I think that's fine. Um, uh, yeah, I kind of want to back this. Yeah. Get and, one. And titanium. I love titanium. Yeah. yeah. So, David Eckerd, thank you for telling us about. What, does this thing have a name? It's the Pico Titanium the Pico. Micro Bottle Opener. Well, I don't have any micro bottles I need open. I know. I just have the full-size ones. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's, a, it's really kind of a, a, a premium product, a... a you know, the, the, not everyone gets the uh, micro bottles, but um, us people who like bottles, we know about get, them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you I know where to go. You know where to go. You know, yeah. right. Petaluma Micro Bottle Brewery. Yeah. yeah. It's a micro bottle brewery. Um, so that is very it's, cool. It's I'm glad these are a little that place over. down the corner. <laughs> very little. It's run by mice, actually. <laughs> um, that is great. Make sure that you play What the Heck Is It? At Gizwiz, not Biz, uh, this two months gadget, bi monthly gadget um, looks like this. Um, it is an orb with a hole in it and a mustache and a lanyard and a, a base to it. Yeah. Gosh. <laughs> um, I, but it's obvious to me uh, what this is. Um, there's, uh, you would bring this to a disco and, uh, it could be repla it replaces a disco ball. It's a spare disco ball. You have it on a lanyard. So just in case at any point you can throw the mustache disco ball up in the, up in the ceiling and uh, still continue the party if your other one breaks as they are wont to do. Uh, there are 12 Mad Magazines for correct answers, but 24 for interesting, clever, or hilarious answers. So we reward creativity on the Gizwiz, so please just let us know what you think. What could this be used for? And uh, signed copies of Mad Magazine uh, are, are there for you to claim. That's at gizwiz.biz. Also, if you'd like to watch the show live, we are live every Thursday at around 4.30 Pacific time, if I don't sleep in, uh, and uh, 7.30 <laughs> Eastern time. Uh, if you don't catch us live, no worries. Twit.tv slash gizwiz is where you can download the show and also subscribe in iTunes or YouTube or RSS uh, for whatever is your favorite pod catcher. Um, anything else I need to plug? Uh, Sunday. Sunday. Is the uh, tenth oh, anniversary yes, of yes. Twit? So, uh, are there still spots available? No. no. Be, sure Be sure just to tune in to live.twit.tv and enjoy the celebrations of the tenth anniversary. And um, that's it. That's it. It, you, if you can't get tickets, they're sold out. So all you can do is watch it live. If you if you didn't get in um, to the ticket pool, uh, that about wraps it up for the Gizwiz. We'll see you next week. I'll be here.